So first I'm going to be taking one of the carpable pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'll be removing the tag and also the stem and I will be giving it two coats of the apple barrel paint in the color black and this is with the satin finish. I'll be taking another foam pumpkin and three of the wooden craft cubes from the Dollar Tree and giving them two coats of the apple barrel paint in the color black with a matte finish. Now I'm taking the pumpkin I painted with the satin finish and I will be adding a skirt. This will be the bottom of the witch. To make the skirt I will be using the sparkle mesh from Dollar Tree and a needle and thread. I cut the mesh to 36 inches long and with a needle and thread I'm going to gather the mesh around the top edge by weaving the needle back and forth. This is how the skirt should look. I did end up having to add more of the mesh because 36 inches was not enough to go around the entire pumpkin. To attach the skirt, I'm just adding a thin line of hot glue around the inside seam of the top of the pumpkin. Now I'm going to be taking the pumpkin that I painted with the matte black. This will be the cauldron. I'm going to be adding the feet and to add the feet I will be turning the pumpkin over to where the flat side is facing up and then I'm taking the cubes and placing them in a triangle pattern and attaching them with some hot glue. Now I'm going to be adding handles to the cauldron. I will be using nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I will be placing the handles on the side of the pumpkin where the seam goes through the middle of the pumpkin. I'm going to measure out the length of the rope by placing it where I want the handles to be. I cut two pieces of the rope to five and a half inches long. Now I'm going to attach the handles using some hot glue. Now I'm taking the witch's bottom and I'm going to be attaching her to the top of the cauldron. 
by putting a generous amount of the hot glue around the top. I will be taking the bottom and turning it over so that the mesh side is facing down, making sure I place it as straight as I can. Now that I have the witch's bottom attached to the cauldron, I'm going to go around and tack her skirt up in random places using very tiny dots of hot glue. I will be using these witch leg picks that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be cutting the witch's legs down, leaving enough of the stick to poke inside the top of the pumpkin. I'm going to make sure I place the legs in the position that I want. Then I'm just poking them in the top of the pumpkin to make a hole. Then I'm going to be adding some hot glue to the end of the sticks and placing them back in the holes. I will be using one of these brooms I got from the Dollar Tree. And I will be removing this black ribbon. Then I'm going to be taking a strip of that sparkle mesh and I will be tying that around the broom. Then I will be securing it with a small dab of hot glue. And now the last step, I'm going to be attaching the broom. All right, guys, so this is how this little project turned out. I think it is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I just can't believe how cute this is. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
please subscribe if you haven't. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!